The next is Best Investigative Reporting Award. It's sponsored by Michael Serrell, and it's been won by a large uh, group from the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists at the Center for Public Integrity. And it was for a series of reporting called Secrecy for Sale, which harvested big data about hidden offshore accounts. Judges said that the project was accomplished through the effective management of many editorial partnerships, and Gerard Ryle deserves an enormous amount of credit, they say, for pulling together the team uh, so effectively. And he's here from DC, Gerard. I'm actually representing a lot of people tonight, so I stand on a lot of shoulders. Um, I'm not just talking about my colleagues at the, at the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists, but also the other uh, reporters around the world who worked with us in this project. Um, in the end, we worked with about 120 reporters in, in more than 50 countries. Um, people say that journalism is in crisis, but I think actually we're in the middle of a golden era in journalism the era of big collaborations. Uh, one person I want to mention is uh, Kevin Lau. Um, Kevin was the editor-in-chief of Ming Pao, which was a, a Hong Kong newspaper that partnered with us on the China part of this project. In January, we revealed uh, the secrets of the Chinese elite. Um, and a few weeks later, um, Kevin was brutally attacked uh, with a meat cleaver. Uh, we're not sure if it was to do with this project or not, but our thoughts are with him. Um, on that front as he recovers. Um, I want to dedicate this award though to the silent heroes of journalism, the people who often risk it all to provide us with the information we need. Um, I've been very fortunate over the years uh, to work with many brave and committed sources, including the one that gave us this information. Now they don't get a chance to walk onto a stage or, or get any public recognition for the bravery that they show, but I can tell you that our work would mean nothing without them. So thank you, OPC, and thank you very much.